Hi, welcome to my channel. Uh, we'll discuss about cancellations in Guidewire. So, cancellation, reinstatement, and rewrite are logically connected. You can only reinstate a cancelled policy, and to rewrite a policy, you must cancel the first. You must first cancel the policy. In cancellation means ending the policy before its expiration date. Cancellation process for any given carrier could differ significantly and screens and workflow are fully configurable. Cancellations could be initiated by the insured or by the carrier. Cancellations are more easily executed by the insured and then by the insurer. In many cases, insured can choose to discontinue a policy and not need to have any reason for it. However, insurer cannot discontinue a policy without specifying the reason, such as non-payment or a very risky policy. Cancel policy menu action is available only for the policies that do not already have a completed cance cancellation transaction. Cancellation jobs are not always manually initiated. They could be initiated automatically by the billing center. It is possible for any given policy to have multiple cancellation jobs running against it. This occurs when different people or different systems attempt to cancel the policy for different reasons. For example, a billing system could note the insured have missed several premiums and initiated the cancellation job and at the same time a fraud department might conclude the policy is being fraud and also initiate a cancellation job. To execute a cancellation job, you must specify the reason and the source of the cancellation. Source of the cancellation can be carrier or the insured and reason of the cancellation it can be dependent what we have selected in the source. In the refund method identifies how the insured should be refunded. In the base application, this can be set to flat. Refund all money typically used if the policy has not yet become effective. Prorata or the short rate. Short rate means prorate the refund and subtract an additional amount for some sort of processing fee. When you have completed the information, click Start Cancellation button. Cancellation Wizard has only two steps. Entry step displays information specified in previous slides and in base application, user is started and entry step followed by the confirmation step. Schedule cancellation means uh, complete the cancellation on the transaction effective date and cancel now means uh, cancelling the policy immediately. Policies with the scheduled cancellations. So when we select our schedule cancellation, the policy will cancel only in the effective date. And we can rescind the scheduled cancellations also. If the cancellation is scheduled, you can rescind it from either cancellation wizard or from the actions menu. We have to go to account level and click on actions button and select rescind cancellation. And this option will be available only if the cancellation is still, uh, still scheduled. Once the cancellation job is completed, policy is cancelled.
reinstatements. This job reinstate cancelled policy with the original terms. Cancellation and reinstatement will always have the same effective date and there will be no lapse in the coverage. To reinstate a policy, we have to go to the account level, click on action button and we'll have an option to reinstate policy. And this reinstate policy option will be visible only if the policy has completed cancellation job. Reinstatement wizard has four steps. Start step, start step displays information specified in the previous screen. Policy must be quoted before it can be reinstated. And next step displays the payment screen. Once we click on the reinstate button, the policy will be reinstated. After reinstated reinstatement, the policy will be back into in force. Both cancellation and reinstatement transactions are listed in the policy transaction list. Rewrite. Uh, there are two types of rewrite, full term and mid term. Rewrite discards either part or original policy term. New policy term put into effect which is based on the original but may have significant changes. Full time rewrite means uh, original policy is completely discarded and purpose of cancellation is policy is rewritten. For cancelling the policy for a rewrite, full term rewrite, the source must be carrier and the reason must be policy rewritten. After the policy is cancelled, when we go to the actions menu, we will see an option called rewrite full term. Mid term rewrite, a portion of the original policy is retained. Cancellation is usually for the reason policy rewrite in mid term and rewrite has effective date on or after cancellation. For cancelling a policy for mid term rewrite any reason can be selected other than policy rewrite. Once the policy is cancelled, when we go to the actions menu, we will see the options like rewrite rem remainder of term, rewrite new term. Rewrite wizard is similar to the policy change wizard. Term type defaults to given option based on the type of rewrite, but it can be modified by the user. Expiration date is editable for all type of rewrites. The only difference between remainder of term, mid term rewrite and new term re mid term rewrite is default values of the term type, effective date and expiration dates. After entering the details, click on the code button and this will give the new premium. After clicking on code button, we have to click on issue button and this will bind the rewrite. Thanks for watching.